Brothers and sisters, what's going on? It's Brother Heyru Horace. What's going on? As a timekeeper, my duty is to make sure that you stay in the present in everything that's going on in this realm, the certain times, the dates that known, the brother surrounded that. And it's important that um, you all know that um, myself, there, there are two timekeepers that we are operating at full function. One is brother Marvin Jones. Many There's three of them, actually. Many of you know him through YouTube and Instagram, brother Marvin Jones. And then, then Remedy H, he's the other timekeeper. And then there's me. And we are like those two, those three angels that uh, literally control the time and the things that are going on. So, um, brother Marvin Jones is the timekeeper. He, 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 um, he informed me because, um, um, I was telling you guys that, uh, the, uh, the agent, the age of Aries would begin. And we told you initially, it said the age of Aries would begin in March 21st. And brother Marvin Jones has said, nope, 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 nope. It, it begins April 21st. And he's absolutely right. Age of Aries begins April 21st. We got a major um, solar um, eclipse going on. And this is our black sun. Our black sun has increased in frequency. Our black sun is literally a, a, a ball of hydrogen. A pure hydrogen. And then it can only can be seen infrared because the black sun... The energy is so freaking high. The infrared, they can only see black. Our ancestors knew about this black sun long ago. That's why they did the whole thing, the black sun. We already had the technology to see the black sun. You can't see the black sun with the naked eye. So we had the infrared. We had the purple. You got the in infragreen. We had... The, we had all these different different colors spectrums that we use to um, measure uh, 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 to see what cannot be seen with the naked eye. Remember, brothers and sisters, technology began with us. With us, without us, there would be no technology. Well, all these Saxons are using that are uh, that's already being used. Okay, and we created. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not going to lie, in some distant universe, because there's universe, there's space out there. There's space out there. There's universes, there's galaxies, there's there's other planetary bodies, there, there's, they're there, okay? They're there, all right? On this plane that we're on here, we can go in as far as we want to go. And go into other planetary structures, and they call just called gateways and portals. That's all they are. It's like an endless road that we can walk through. But we created all kind of technology in some kind of distant universe. Our ancestors did create clones. They did cloning. They did gene splicing in some distant universe, and in some distant universe, they taught other beings how to clone how the gene splice how to splice the seeds of plants the, i mean they they taught these other beings on how to do this so everything began with us it might not have began in this realm or in this universe with us but everything began with us as far as technology is concerned so, yes, we had the devices that were able to appear into the sky. And this is how we knew that there was a black sun. Ancient technology. Shut up, you fucking whale. There's still the same technology that we had back in the day. Nothing has changed. They want to think that they have advanced and they really have an advanced. They may have changed the color of certain things, but they really have an advanced. So right now, the black sun has increased in frequencies. So the black sun has increased in frequencies. And so since the black sun has increased in frequencies, 
everything around us is creating frequencies. So our atmospheric sun is creating frequencies. Shut up, you fucking whale. The entire realm itself is increased in frequencies. That's because the black sun is increased in frequencies. Our galactic sun is feeding the black sun. All right. So as a black sun is increasing the frequencies, what happens when the black sun crosses the path of our atmospheric sun? It will literally charge our atmospheric sun up to a, 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 a frequency that mankind cannot understand or 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 can't handle either, which will literally take us into a new age. We're going into the age of Aries, the age of the black fire. I go into the age where mankind don't understand or belong. They don't understand the age of Aquarius. When you came into the age of Pisces some years ago and they saw there was a shift and we go into the age of the Aquarius and they realized they could not stop the information during the age of Pisces, they could stop the information. But during the age of an Aquarius, they could not stop the information. All right. And this is what's happening right now. We're going into the age of Aries where they will not be able to stop the power that we belong to. And they will not be able to stop the power that belongs to us. So after April 21st, we're going to see some. Mm -hmm. Major, major, massive changes in this realm. And they know this is happening. All right. Retribution, motherfuckers, must take place. Retribution must take place. It must happen. You can't continue to keep the original beings in a slumber. They want to keep us down. They want to keep us dumb. They want to keep us numb. They want to keep us happy. Right now, they're spraying fucking all kinds of chemicals in the sky, trying to destroy the lungs and the messing with your respiratory system with your because they're looking for something. They're looking for something to create death. OK, because when you got a type of being that when they don't understand something, the first thing they want to do is try to destroy it. This time, it's no more destruction, brothers and sisters. All right, they got to release our brothers and sisters from the prison system, all right? The brothers and sisters who be caught up in the prison system must be rehabilitated under the laws of my acts. We're going to talk about that later on. They must rehabilitated under the laws of, of my act. 
You can't rehabilitate them under this system. Un understand that. As far as this whole corporation shit, everything that they wrote on paper will literally be null and void. Everything that they have in their possession belongs to us. They want us to pay them. But they are supposed to be paying us. They're in our planet Earth. They're in our universe. They're in our galaxy. Yes, we have a realm. Yes, we have a galaxy. Yes, there is space. Yes, there are universes. Yes, universes are literally frequencies. And when you go from one universe to the other universe to the other universe, it, it changes frequencies. And there's a different reality in each one of them. Which you got to go through in black hole in order to get through another universe. And that black hole is everywhere, all over space. So when they're saying, hey, we say black holes, they're looking. They're peering in the space. They not be, might as be going as far as they claim they're going. But they're peering in the space. And they're seeing black holes. And they're seeing all kinds of things that are happening. All right? So we're, enter we're getting ready to enter the age of Aries. All right? Which today is the 21st of february and we're looking at approximately two month time period all right where um we will be entering the age of aries remember this here month literally deals month comes from the word moon which deals with the moon cycle all right and when you talk about the zodiac like brother marvin said the timekeeper brother marvin said there are 60 zodiacs, so if you want to look at it in a month's time, 60, it would equal up to 60 months would equal to one year, if you want to look at it in that way. So after so many um, moon cycles, we enter a new zodiac period. So like I said, the rest of the zodiacs are hidden away from us. So it's important that we understand that we're getting ready to enter into some extremely powerful energy and extremely powerful frequency that mankind will not be able to fault it. That's why they're having a hard time keeping the sky, covering us with what they want to do, cover. They're, they're scared. They're scared of extinction. It's not our fault, us black and Latin American people. Their forefathers, these white people, brought them over, over here. They have ships that crashed all over this realm. They don't want to talk about that. They have ships that crashed. They came to this realm. They came through portals. They came through gateways. They came here to hold us back. Because this is what they desire for, for, for uh, 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 to be done. This is their desire to hold us back. And now we have to, now we have to bring ourselves forward. So as we went deeper into this awakening and we began to shift things we got to remember to get brother remember brothers and sisters to get this we're the catalyst of everything the awakening because we are the atoms of this realm we are this atoms of this realm we are the catalysts of the awakening so our awakening is literally caused a a, a literally a cataclysmic downfall of their entire system and watching their things crumble we're watching things crash with the black sun is in place. The black sun moves opposite, moves in the opposite direction. It moves much slower than our atmospheric sun. So you see our atmospheric sun every day. The black sun moves on its own space, on its own time of dimension. The black sun is not Nibiru. Some of you talk about Nibiru or whatever. The black sun is not Nibiru. All right, Nibiru, Nibiru is another energy, another planet, star, and spaceship that is here. It's all three in one. We're going to discuss Nibiru later on. The black sun, who is who is much slower in circumference than our atmospheric sun does. Okay, so when they look into the sky. With their telescope technology that they learned from us, we already had telescopes. This is why we could very appear in the space. There is space, brothers and sisters. There is a space. There are planetary bodies. Like, the, the, all right, I'm dealing with that respiratory shit myself. 
I'm pretty sure some of you are all dealing with it too. But I got to load up on my zinc and my tea. I got to get some more tea because I'm going to run out of tea. And I'm going to need some calcium too. So the planetary bodies might not be what they think they are. But the planets are out there, okay? Remember, our planet is a sphere. And we have realms. And this uh, plasma sphere that surrounds us, which is real, okay? Understand, understand, overstand, brothers and sisters, that everything is changing. Everything is changing. Everything is coming into balance right now. So we're looking at a definite change of the power and the structure of everything dealing with us, dealing with our planet, dealing with our realm, dealing with the energy, everything. Like I said, like I said earlier, the brothers and sisters who have been indoctrinated in the prison system, they have to be rehabilitated for the laws of my act. Even those who have not indoctrinated, where they only know the Bible. They only know the educational system. They only know the stock market. They only know politics. They only know the so-called laws. They literally have to be rehabilitated through the laws of my app as well. All right, and they got to be rehabilitated through the laws of my aunt. And they need to understand, understand, brothers and sisters, these are really enemies. And they really exist and they are here in the flesh. They want to make sure we don't rise. They want to make sure they stay on top of everything. They want to make sure that they look like us and they become us. They want to think that they're going to shine and we have to show them that they won't. So as we come into the, the, the age of Aries, we're getting ready to come into a whole different spectrum of energy, a whole different spectrum of power, which means the frequencies are literally going to change into a completely different frequency. And this is what's happening now. The frequencies are changing. Everything is moving up to the change. This is what they're scared of. This is what they're afraid of. Because the change, when change happens, they cannot change with the change. This is evolution. We said everyone can have an awakening. Everyone can't transform. You got every being here in this realm. The age of Aquarius, they have awakened. So many beings have awakened. And I see the lies and they come out and say, hey, hey, these are the original people and y'all do them them wrong. They know it. Even the ones that ain't us. But here. Here's the problem. The ones that aren't black and Hispanic, they they can awaken, but they can't transform. It is what it is. It is what it is. We're going to have to rebuild this planet Earth. And it, it took a whole time of, 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 of an age to shift. All right. And the age have to shift in order for things to come into the spectrum of, of the knowledge of all. Okay. So just want to share that with you all brothers and sisters that we're coming into the age of Aries. We're coming into a very powerful age and everything is getting ready to shift into a completely different frequency. All right. All this in the air is frequency. All right. When that solar eclipse happened and our black sun, which is it's a hypercharged our galactic our black sun literally controls everything in this realm. It's not our atmospheric sun, it's our black sun. It, our sun you can't see. That motherfucker controls. That motherfucker has power. That black sun got some fucking power. And when the black sun literally becomes hyper and it goes to that point where its energy becomes extremely active you know what's going to happen it's literally gonna cause a major shift of a supernova and this is what we're looking at the death of a species time is changing for for the age of aries we're coming into it uh, my brother your sister my awakening but your my brother, your my brother, my sister, your awakening has caused a shift, and everything's falling into place. Like I said, those oh, well that's pseudoscience. No, this is not mainstream science. This is real science. So, so at the end of the day, this is 
the, you know the deal. All power to the multi celestial. Celestial beings may chaos reign with you ever, ever. Chaos is everything, brothers and sisters. You are chaos, my brothers and sisters. Much power to you all.